Good day, students. Uh, today we're going to look at a solution to number 12, page 109. Um, this is from chapter 8, the trigonometry chapter, right triangle trigonometry in book 3 of your Math 1026 booklets. So it says two identical apartment buildings are 41.3 meters apart. So 41.3 meters apart. So I'm assuming then this is building one, right? This is some building and an identical building, building two. So we have two buildings, right? Now these buildings are 41.3 meters apart. So this would make sense that they're 41.3 meters away from each other. From her balcony, Miriam, so I assume the M is Miriam, out on a balcony, her angle of elevation, so Miriam's right here in this building, her angle of elevation to the top of the adjacent building is 57 degrees. Now, angle of elevation for Miriam would be this angle right here. Okay, looking up to the top of the adjacent building right here. So her angle, her angle of elevation is 57 degrees. And then it says the angle of depression to the base of the building. Okay, so Miriam's angle of depression to the base. So the angle of depression, again, is along the horizontal and the line of sight. So it's right there. So her angle of depression is 28 degrees right here. Okay? Now, we're asked to find the height of the building to the nearest meter, okay? So, well, we have two right tri assuming now, of course, we have a right triangle here and a right triangle here, right? So we're making that assumption that the buildings are standing perfectly straight. So if I could find this value from here to here, all right, so we'll call that, say, x. And then I could find a value from here down to here. I'll call that value, say, y. Right? Then what, uh, what can we do to, how can we do this to find the length of the tall of the building? Well, we know that the buildings are equal. Let me redraw that, not too straight. So what we're looking for is this final height of the building, right? And this final height of the building, of course, is going to be x plus y, isn't it? So if I can find x and then find y and just add them together, I should have the height of the building. So let's look at one triangle at a time, all right? So let me just sketch over with a different color. So let's look at this one right here. Let me just use yellow. So here, I'm looking at this triangle. Can you see it there with the yellow? Not a great color. Let's change it to green. There, that's better. So the green one now. Um, and I'm just sketching the triangle over in green to show you the one I'm dealing with. Okay. All right. Let me just do that one more time. So you should be able to see that now. So I'm dealing with just that triangle. What if we made it a little thicker? Yeah, it looks a little better. Okay. So. How do we do that? Well, in that particular triangle, we're looking for side x, right? Side x right here. We know 57 degrees, so x is going to be opposite 57, isn't it? And 41.3 is going to be the tangent to 57. So in the top triangle, it's going to look like this. We're going to say the tan of what angle? 57 degrees right here is equal to the opposite side which we have labeled x the top triangle now over the adjacent side 41.3 so x is equal to 41.3 times the tan of 57 when you cross multiply right now let's bring up the calculator and have a look at that so 41.3 times the tan of 57 degrees. Let's see what we get. 
63.59 or 63.6. Okay, 63.6. Let's write that down right here. 63.6 meters. So X we have found. So we're our, we got we're halfway there, right? Now I need to find side Y. Now I'm using the other triangle down below, so now I'm using the same adjacent side, right? And I'm using this right triangle right here. So I'm just sketching over it here now, highlighting it a bit. See that triangle I'm using? Okay. So now we do again, it's opposite because it's Y is opposite and adjacent is 41.3. So we're using the same adjacent side again, right? Whoops, let me close that out. And, okay, so the tan of 28 degrees from the smaller triangle right here, tan of 28 degrees is the opposite side, which we've labeled Y, divided by the adjacent side, which is 41.3. So it's 41.3 times a tan of 28 degrees. And again, we get our calculator and do that. 41.3 tan of 28. And we get 21.96. So 21, oh, so that would be 22, right, if I round it off be 22.0 meters. Now we're still not finished because the height of the whole building is X and Y together. So the height of the building, H-E-I-G-H-T, the height is X plus Y, isn't it? So it's 63.6 plus 22. So that's 85.6. Six. Now let me check instructions to see what it said about decimal places. Find the height of the buildings to the nearest meter. So that means no decimal place. So the answer is 86 meters. So the height of the buildings, because they're identical buildings, right? B-U-I-L-D-I-N-G-S is 86 meters. Okay, so that's the complete solution for number 12 on page 109.